The arena battle in Star Wars Attack of the Clones was one of the most deadly battles for the Jedi during the Clone Wars, as it would become known as the First Battle of Geonosis. It was Mace Windu who orchestrated a Jedi strike team in hopes of rescuing Obi-Wan Kenobi as well as Anakin Skywalker from the Geonosians and the Separatists. When the battle kicked off, however, it became evidently clear to Windu that he was severely outmatched, clearly by the number of droids that Dooku had brought with him. Not to mention, the Geonosians themselves Themselves. The battle was so dangerous, in fact, that dozens of Jedi were killed almost instantly, and the Clone Wars began. Interestingly enough, besides the Chosen One himself, Anakin Skywalker, there was only a single Jedi Padawan that survived the arena battle in Attack of the Clones. One Jedi Padawan that was not killed on that day, as of course, the battle was extremely deadly. The sheer amount of droids simply overwhelmed the Jedi, and all the Padawans that were not as experienced as their Jedi Knights and masters fell to blaster fire. The only Jedi Padawan to escape the arena with her life, again besides Skywalker, was Barriss Offee. Barriss Offee again becoming the famous Jedi that turned to the dark side of the Force at the tail end of the Clone Wars. But why was it that Barriss was the only Jedi Padawan to survive the arena conflict? There are actually two specific reasons. Luckily for Barriss, she was actually a part of the strike team because of her own master, Luminara Unduli. Of course, Luminara was known as one of the wise and still most powerful Jedi that the Order had ever seen. Not to mention, because they were the same species, she shared a special connection with Barriss, more so than a normal Master Padawan relationship. It was because of this, for the entirety of the battle, the two of them remained side by side, with Luminara protecting her Padawan with her life. The other reason, though, is because Barriss ultimately chose to exit the engagement early, with herself and her master departing the arena battle. As if you look closely in the Geonosian arena in a Attack of the Clones, both Barriss and Luminara are not present in the final Jedi Circle. In all actuality, Luminara made the call that it was too dangerous for Barriss to be there, after seeing dozens upon dozens of Jedi fall by blaster fire. It was here that Luminara Unduli ordered Barriss away with several other Jedi Knights, as she herself was prepared to lay down her life. Another reason why Barriss lasted so long in the Battle of Geonosis was also because she was so close to another one of the most powerful Jedi of the Order, and a light saber duelist even far more skilled than Luminara Unduli, and quite possibly in the arena itself at the time, the second most powerful Jedi behind Mace Windu. That Jedi was Jedi Master Shock T, who too protected Barriss throughout the entirety of the engagement. Unfortunately though, half of the Jedi that arrived at Geonosis would die that day, including every single Jedi Padawan that was selected for the strike team. Therefore, it was ultimately a wise decision for Luminara to send Barriss away, and why Barriss became quite famous among the Jedi Order just following, as the only other Jedi Padawan besides Skywalker to survive the battle, made even more impressive as Barriss was not the chosen one. Anyway guys, leave your own thoughts on this in the comments down below, and the fact that besides Skywalker, Barriss Offee was the only Jedi to survive the first battle of Geonosis as a Padawan. Before you go, be sure to check out my other channel, The Marvelous Wave, where we talk all about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, including news, breakdowns, and theories about all upcoming and past Marvel movies. Link to the channel is in the description below. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. May the force be with you and have a great day.